This week, we are closing out American Heart Month with a new series called Project AED. Tonight, the story of a woman who, by all medical accounts, should not be here today. But thanks to first responders who used an AED and CPR, she's here to share her miracle. Here's Lindsay Buckingham with her incredible story. Being grateful looks different to everyone. <laughs> Welcome to real life at the Eberhardt. For 46-year-old Christy Eberhardt. Look, it, it's perfectly golden brown. It looks like this. <laughs> because more than 16 years ago. So October 18th, 2006. Her life changed forever. I was working at Akron Children's Hospital. Um, it was a normal day for me. I was completely healthy, felt fine that day. She wasn't fine. In a matter of minutes... She went from chatting with coworkers at her job as a child life specialist. I worked down in the emergency room, and down there there was no reception. So I went up to the bridge to make a phone call. To this. But I collapsed. And I went into cardiac arrest. Christy's heart wasn't beating. I was without any um, CPR or AEDs for close to six minutes. My first responder approached, so she yelled out for um, help and for somebody to get an AED. Soon, an army of coworkers rushed to help. In the ER, doctors had given up hope. All but one. She was doing her residency at the time, and her attending told her that I had passed and that she needed to give up on me, and she wouldn't. 62 minutes without a heartbeat, 13 shocks from an AED, and endless CPR. Then Christy came back. The next day, I opened my eyes. A stunning recovery. I've had several doctors who worked on me that day tell me it's medically impossible that I am here today. Christy began living life with love, not fear. I work with children with autism, loving my job, um, had become a mother, which was the biggest blessing of my entire life. Then life... Woke up the one day and just felt like, oh, you know, maybe I'm having like an anxiety attack. Had other plans. Christy called her best friend. She came over and found me collapsed at my front door. It was a massive heart attack called SCAD. Doctors said she'd need open heart surgery. An unbearable conversation followed. And to look in your little girl's face and to have to tell her goodbye without her knowing it is something that no mom should ever have to go through. And I looked at my doctors and I told them, don't you give up on me. I am a fighter. And I woke up the next morning and the first question that I asked was, Am I alive? <laughs> Christy had survived the unthinkable cardiac arrest, then a massive heart attack 12 years later. The two completely unrelated. Do you need water? Today, she's more alive than ever. We're definitely really lucky to have her around. Advocating for CPR and AED training at events for the American Heart Association. It's absolutely amazing. And like she said, she's made it her mission. And she's inspired her whole family to become advocates themselves, including daughter Emily, who also has a heart condition. Once you open it like this, it's going to talk to you. Call for help now. You have to graduate knowing like CPR, and I feel like that's going to help a lot because like there's so many kids at school, anything can happen at school too. The medical world may never know why she lived, but Christy does. She loves her family. They mean more to me than they will ever know. And she's grateful for a purpose she'll never give up on. And I realize um, how blessed I am to be here. And I try to live my life in such a way that I'm giving that hope and blessings back to others. Lindsay Buckingham, 3 News. Christy tells us she is doing really well and her mission it remains the same encouraging others to learn CPR and AED. And also, listen to this, her daughter, who you saw as trained, she wants to be a cardiologist. Uh, how about that? How about that? The best of Christy and the family.